my name is Ashley Stanzak, and I am the Sales Associate for the West Coast region. Can I get a quick show of hands? How many people have played PlayStation before or currently own a console? Okay, so I see a vast majority of the hands. Can I also get a show of hands for how many people have advertised on a video game console? Okay, so about half. So today we're definitely going to explore how advertising on a video game console will definitely help you uh, with your campaigns. We have a really, really large audience and we definitely want to help you reach the goal uh, for the campaign. So I'll, I'll jump right on in. So currently, to give you an overview of the gaming world, currently 155 million Americans play video games. So really, really, really high number. And then 50% of all US households own a gaming console. So also another high number. Uh, combining both of those, another thing to note is that PlayStation 4 is currently the leading current generation of home consoles in North America and worldwide. So when we first released, um, we were beating Xbox 3 to 1. So definitely if you're thinking about jumping into the gaming console space, would recommend starting off with PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. To give you a brief history of PlayStation, we launched the first PlayStation 1 in 1995, and then we moved on, it did so well, we moved on to PlayStation 2, which was the fastest console to ever sell 100 million units. And then, in place, uh, then we released PlayStation 3, which was the first console that we introduced day one digital. So what that means is that um, the day that we launched it was the same day that we opened up the PlayStation Store and people could buy uh, video games and various different content from the store. So they didn't have to leave their house to go get that game that they were really waiting for. Jumping to PlayStation 4, we sold uh, 1 million uh, consoles in the first 24 hours, so definitely huge success for us. We also integrated a social experience, so gamers can socialize with their friends on what level they're at or what game they're thinking about buying next. So a lot of really great opportunities for advertisers to jump in on the social experience as well. We also were the first console to integrate video streaming directly into the console. So really great opportunities there as well. Play it first. So another thing that's really great about PlayStation is that we are able to lock down some really, really great titles where we have exclusive content and you can play it first on PlayStation. Some of those titles include Destiny, The Taken King, Call of Duty, and Battlefront. We have so many, I'm not going to list them all, but um, we definitely have a really awesome PlayStation team that is working and dedicated to locking down the premier titles. And what that means for you guys is that we have a really high footprint into the store. There's a lot of people going there because there's a lot of places you could go to buy a game, but it just doesn't have it because we locked it down first. So this slide is going to give you an overview of everything that PlayStation is. So we have the PlayStation Store, which um, consumers go to to buy the games. It's where most of the ad units I'll show you later are going to be located. We have PlayStation Music, and we actually just announced a partnership with Spotify. So what that means is when gamers are playing their video games, they can listen to Spotify in the background instead of the music that's currently on the game. We also have PlayStation View, which is a cloud-based TV service that brings you live TV, movies, and sports. And I'll definitely go over that uh, a little bit more later. There's a lot of really great ad opportunities tied to PlayStation View. To give you an overview of PlayStation as a whole, there's currently 68 million uh, PlayStation Network accounts that are live in uh, the past 12 months. So a lot of really, really active users. In, on average, people spend 18 hours a week on the gaming console. I don't know where they find the time. I can barely find time to cook myself some dinner. Uh, but definitely a lot of time spent on the console, a lot of time in the store. So what that means for you guys is more time um, for them to view your ad and to get um, to view your service. Another great thing to note about PlayStation is that we are the second largest retailer of PlayStation games. So we're right behind games, GameStop and ahead of Target, ahead of um, Best Buy and Walmart. And what that means is that we're just nailing it. <laughs> 
we, uh, a lot of people really like the feature where you can just purchase the game and already have it loaded into your PlayStation. So we also um, give people the ability to purchase a game via mobile, web, and console. So a lot of different uh, variations on how you can purchase a game. The majority of our sales are made on the console in the PlayStation Store, but there definitely are a lot of opportunities to purchase a game on PlayStation. Here's a video that I will show you to give you a deeper dive into PlayStation. Start video. End video. So a really, really great thing we learned this year from one of our case studies was that PlayStation ads were noted to be most paid attention to and interacted with. So what that means is we're not annoying the consumer. We found out that with all the different categories of ads, people are just getting annoyed with the content that's on there. They don't feel like it's seamless. They don't feel like it fits what they're looking for. Uh, they, and they just get annoyed by it. So we have a really, really great statistic behind us showing that if you do place an ad on PlayStation, uh, the consumer is going to pay attention to it, and they're not going to find it annoying. You never want to annoy a consumer if you want them to buy. You want them to be happy with your product and happy with you as a company and not think, oh, another ad, another one of these ads, I've already seen them. So people aren't getting annoyed. So really, really great user experience from the ad perspective. Now I'm going to dive into the PlayStation Store and the ad placement. So I'm going to start off with the PS4 What's New screen. So this is going to be the first section that people see when they turn on the console and it's going to link directly, or sorry, and it can link directly to a website, product page, or launching a product. So a lot of really great opportunities if you do want to be in the front of the store and have a lot of eyeballs on the placement. We also have a really exciting thing that happened recently where you can buy this placement um, for one day. So let's say you want something that's high impact but you don't necessarily have a budget or have a very large budget, this would definitely be the placement I would recommend because you're going to get a lot of eyes in a short amount of time. Jumping to PlayStation 3, what's new? This is going to be a very similar unit to the PlayStation 4, what's new? The biggest difference between the two is just one, PlayStation 3, what's new is on PlayStation 3, and then two, you can deal an age target on PS3. So if you are looking to be a little bit more targeted with your campaign, I would recommend going with the PS3, what's new homepage. Jumping on to the welcome roadblock. So this is going to be on the PS Store landing page, and it's going to be accessible on both PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. And it's going to be the first screen all users see when they enter the store. So if there's not a welcome roadblock sold, they'll jump right into the store. But if a welcome roadblock is sold, uh, then it'll be the first placement that they see. And as you can see, it's a full screen ad. So definitely um, we'll make a statement when people open it and see it. Spotlight. So Spotlight um, is another ad placement that we sell. And it's always the first banner on the page and users uh, will see it as they scroll to the right. And the unit can play video and it can also link to a product page. If you wanted to play a video, uh, the gamer would just hover over the image and then the video would start to play. Branded storyline. So this is one of my favorite placements. If you have a lot of products, you have a lot of characters, you kind of want to take the time to have a consumer uh, see everything that you have to offer. So um, one really great thing about this is you can have three separate screens. So let's say you want to get into one of the characters. You can devote one entire screen to that character. You can have uh, creative and imagery, and then you can have the user scroll to the second screen, and it can look totally different for another character that has a totally different personality. Same thing with lines. This is a great example of a Nike one that we just released. Really, really great placement. Category sponsorship. So category sponsorship is in general our placement for categories. So we have the new games category, which as you can tell is the most popular and traffic it in the store. We also have downloadable content, which um, is in the new add-on section. And then if your game has a demo, I'd recommend being in the new demos page. And we also have free to play title. Um, uh, free to play, which is if you have a free to play title. 
and we typically cannot select um, in the beginning which uh, category you are placed in, but the Clia store does a really, really great job of placing the ad where they feel it'll fit best. So if you do have a free to play title, it will most likely be in the free to play section. ROS native banners. So this is gonna be an ad that's placed on multiple pages throughout the store. So if you want to be in, a, you have your ad a little here, a little there, a little there, so people throughout the store are getting to see it, I would definitely recommend the ROS, ROS native. And if you have a super, super low budget and you still want to be in the PlayStation Store, this is a really great opportunity to get involved. Next is going to be the PlayStation Live events. So we typically do this for E3 uh, because it's very tied to the gamer world. But we're opening up to various different live events. It can be live or it can be pay-per-view. And it can be free um, instead of pay-per-view too. And it's kind of endless opportunities with the PlayStation. So if you really, really want to highlight um, a new movie that's coming out um, that you're affiliated with, or you want to do a live stream of UFC, you definitely can be an ad sponsor of that live event on PlayStation. So really great opportunity to give the consumer what they're looking for and also seamlessly add your ad into the integration. This is going to be a couple examples of co-branded placements, and it's going to be additional ad inventory. Um, an additional ad inventory is going to be available to purchase if you would like, um, but this is just how you're going to be able to access all the content. All right, so I know I teased you in the beginning a little bit about PlayStation View. This is definitely something I'm super excited about, and as a reminder, it's a cloud-based TV service. Um, so I'm going to jump in because they dive into it a little bit more here. So it's a live and on demand and it's currently in its beta version with 78 channels and then by the end of the year it's going to have over 300 channels. And what this is is it's um, it's cutting the cord. So let's say you're sick of AT&T. You're like, oh, I've had enough of them. I've been on hold for 30 minutes. I'm just trying to cancel. Um, so what you can do here is you can get all the channels you want. The only chance, channel we do not have currently is Disney and ESPN, but we're working out that contract, so we probably will have it very soon. Um, but you'll have all, your, your, all the channels that you want, and then let's say you want to record channels. You don't have to worry about the limited number. So on a lot of cable subscriptions, they have a limit for three. Um, let's say you want to record 10 and they just happen to be all at the same time. You can record 10 and not have to worry. Another great thing is if you forget to hit record, you can go back 30 days and hit record. Not a big deal. I know all the time I forget to, to hit record. And I'm at the grocery store and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot to record Bachelor again. Oh, I'm going to miss it. Uh, so definitely really great. Um, I'm definitely going to be a consumer when it comes to the Los Angeles market. You can also favorite a lot, a lot of opportunities, and I'm going to show you a video to actually explain it a little more. Start video. End video. So to sum everything up, we have a lot of really great opportunities on PlayStation. We're the number one gaming console in the world. A lot of different video advertising opportunities, original content, which we didn't really dive into too much here. Um, live TV network, which is PlayStation View, and then live event opportunities that just have endless possibilities. Um, worldwide game sales are currently expected to reach over $90 billion this year. So we're definitely going to connect you with highly engaged consumers when you get involved with PlayStation. So we're definitely looking forward to finding out creative ways to get you involved and make sure we, have, we meet the, the goals that your client sets for you. Are, are there any questions? Okay, well, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for coming, allowing me to come in today. I can't wait to um, read more on how your business does and see all the new products that are going to come out. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.